What is going on, everybody? We have a really exciting Atlanta Falcons rebuild episode coming to you today, wrapping up our first full season here, and it is going to be the debut of Zach Wilson, though we are not going to actually play with him because we have rules for this rebuild. We have used all of our playage already. However, we do have a breakout for Solomon Thomas. The narrative started here the second we signed Solomon Thomas over from the San Francisco 49ers, a former top five pick that was definitely a bust in San Francisco, uh, but coming off an injury there for San Francisco, uh, we pick him up. We switch his number to number 72 in honor of Michael Bennett, who is a similar type of just player in general as far as scheme fit in this Seattle three defense as that bigger body defensive end. But beyond that, as a sort of redemption project coming to a new team that really wants to take advantage of his skill set, a eight sack season, definitely a player we are already leaning towards giving a boost in the offseason with our sort of player review type of thing we do here to compensate for Madden's terrible development system. That said, he is rewarded by the game engine with that breakout scenario. By our rules, we get to play 15 snaps with Solomon Thomas. So Zach Wilson making his NFL debut on the other side of the ball. Well, we are going to play 15 snaps on pass rushing downs. Definitely a game where we can generate some buzz and excitement as we head into the offseason, hopefully in this episode. So here we go. So we kick off. And we're gonna try to kind of come in when it benefits us the most. Second and 10 here, so let's see if we get the third down. We do not. Here we go, here's a third down and six. Let's hop in. We're gonna get a chance as the three tech there. Oh, and we uh, do a big dumb and light up Matthew Stafford on the first play. Getting a little dirty here, Solomon Thomas. And that's going to hurt the defense big time as we're going to give up a first down. So a rough start here for Solomon Thomas. Third and four this time. Lined up at edge. Unable to get past. And we give up another first down. Lions showing four wide. Although it duped us and actually put... Oh, and there's a TFL and a fumble recovery. Solomon Thomas comes in after a disguised package sets up some run defense at defensive tackle for Solomon Thomas. Defense coordinator thought he was going to get a spread look. Ends up putting Solomon Thomas down into that defensive tackle spot, and that should get the breakout for Solomon Thomas. And Zach Wilson's going to take over. Let's see what Wilson can do on his first drive. Looks like he has a three and out, and we're back in the game. Detroit driving, third and one. Let's keep going. Nice drive here for the Lions. We're going to get a third and five here. Let's hop in. Back at edge. Trying to get through, and we can't. Tyrell Crosby has our number the first two snaps here, so that's our fourth rep. And Detroit goes and scores the touchdown on the drive. Next possession, Wilson drives and gets the touchdown. Hell yeah. All right, let's see what we can do on defense. We get to third and 10. Back on the edge. A good jump. We beat Crosby that time. So a pressure. And forcing a punt. Good rep there for Thomas. Zach Wilson driving, but going to punt, and we're back in on defense, and it's going to be a penalty on the offense. Brings us to second and 20, so let's hop in here. Watch the draw. Just going to hit the flats. Brings us to third and long. In it, three tech. We get doubled. And sacked off the corner. Kendall Sheffield flies in with that speed in the slot. In the dime package. Great blitz call. And then the offense gets a field goal off the short field. First and 10, a sack from Grady Jarrett. Gets to second and 19. Let's keep playing. 
Put us in a three tech again. It's been working. We get stonewalled there by the left guard. But no problem. They still go with the quick pass. Brings us to third and 16. And we're actually going to be asked to drop into coverage on this one. Get out there, Solomon. I have no idea where we are <laughs> with that angle. But another punt. What can Zach Wilson do with the two-minute offense? A nice drive, but it's all for naught. They get no points. So we get the ball to start the second half. There's a drive. Field goal drive. We've played nine plays, so we have six more to go. Let's try to handpick these. A negative two-yard rush. It brings us to third and eight. Decent rush there. Stafford is getting rid of this ball quick in this game. Just 14 completions for 105 yards. And we force another punt. What can the offense do? Decent looking drive, but we stall about midfield. Third and five coming up. Let's play it. Going back to the nickel blitz, but we're showing it this time. Oh, come on, get free, Solomon. He, got, he let him get his hands back on him there. But we do eventually force the pressure. Good coverage on the back end despite the blitz, and we force another punt. Look at this defense stepping up. Come on, Wilson, make it a two-score game. There you go. Field goal drive. Luckily, the defense is, is playing well because... Ooh, a sack for Solomon Thomas when we're simulating. So we're going to get the breakout for sure now. Wow, what a, what a year for Solomon Thomas. Unbelievable, the superstar he is becoming. We're going to hop in again. We still have four plays to go. We can keep piling it on. Try to get the inside move to work, and it does not. Crosby's kind of had Thomas's number over there, but we do force another fourth down. We'll see if Detroit just chooses to go for it here, and they do. We're going to try a little stunt this time. Ooh, we almost force a pick. That looked like Isaiah Oliver on the coverage. Can get a peek at Zach Wilson's numbers. Pretty good debut. 250 yards, a touchdown, no interception. Kind of playing that game manager role a little bit. And Camaglia misses a 52-yarder, putting pressure on the defense to make another stop. We got three plays to go. Going to try another stunt here. Nowhere to go. What a hit by 53. That's Errol Thompson, the rookie. Last play coming up right here. They're going single back. Let's go in at three tech again. We get doubled, but the blitz, the double corner blitz. Kendall Sheffield gets his second sack of the game. Showing a nice roll as that blitzing corner on the dime packages. Doesn't get a lot of playing time here, but good to see him make some plays. And we're out of plages, but we met the task. He gets a sack and simulation. And oh no, oh, whoa, Zach Wilson pulls out the game-winning field goal drive after Atlanta tried to pull an Atlanta Falcons and blow the lead. And Zach Wilson gets to 1-0 as a starter. Didn't have to do much all day, but gets the job done at the end. Let's see the box score here. What a debut for Zach Wilson. 306 yards, a touchdown, no picks. Outplays Matthew Stafford on the other side of the ball. The run game was quiet today, very quiet. Julio Jones gets involved. Zach Wilson finally thrown to these receivers, unlike Matt Ryan did, Calvin Ridley, Julio Jones, both good days. And then for the defense, two sacks for Kendall Sheffield. Solomon Thomas gets that TFL, a sack. He even forced a fumble and recovered a fumble. A defensive player of the week candidate, honestly, with the two plays he made there. What a day. We talked about generating some buzz heading into season two, and that is exactly what we just did. We get lots of upgrades here. Let's figure out, or at least achieve the breakout here from Solomon Thomas. Roll out the red carpet, baby. 
Now I wonder if he gets another one. We've got three weeks left in the season. Could he get all the way up to superstar with the way he's played? We know he has that potential. He was the number three overall pick. So let's advance. And two more breakouts to play. So who do we have? Sure enough, Solomon Thomas. Hold the Giants to 75 rushing yards or get Thomas a combination of TFL, sacks. Wow. Also, Russell Gage finally gets his breakout after the incredible season he's having. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll get to play 15 snaps of offense with Zach Wilson. We got upgrades. Dante Fowler. Speed rusher. A great upgrade. AJ Terrell. We're going to go zone. Najee Harris. Rumors he's considering the dislike by the fans of his number 35 with a number change in the offseason. Zion Johnson, who's taken that starting job by the Horns after the Kalecki Assemble injury. Caleb McGarry showing some development here. Love to see that. Questions on if he's maybe reached his ceiling a little bit. Well, he seems he's not done yet. Matt Hennessy gets another upgrade. That starting center that's coming along. Forced into action by the retirement of Alex Mack. Errol Thompson, we saw him make a good play there last week. And then here's your two upgrades for Solomon Thomas. So I want him to be a pretty well-versed rusher, but we're going to work on his power this time around. He definitely has that upside to be a bull rusher. And he's going to get a total of four power rush. So he's got a balanced skill set there, 73-73. And I will say we definitely luck out getting to go against Matt Pert, who is uh, a tackle with upside, but a young tackle for sure. And upgrading that power is big this week because he is much more of a technician than a anchor at that tackle position. So we might want to get him with some more bull rushes this week. By the way, we are 6-7 and seven and certainly not out of the playoff race yet. So things getting really interesting here in Atlanta. We got Antonio Brown over there for the Giants. We're going to go with the modern throwback jerseys for Atlanta this week. Game on. We're going to start on defense. We get a second and 10. We get to third down. Let's play it. We're going dime, nickel blitz. And it's caught up the middle by Saquon Barkley, lined up in the slot. Good throw by Daniel Jones. Giants keep driving. We get to third and four. This is a big play. Let's hop in. We're going to pinch this in case it is a run. Thomas goes for the spin, kind of muddies things up, but Saquon, rare play right there, unable to turn up field. And we get the Giants to hold to a field goal. So we get to play with Zach Wilson with the breakout coming for Russell Gage. Looks like cover four here. I'm going to shorten that, that corner route here. We're just going to go for him. Kind of a low risk, high reward throw there. Gage not on the field this time, but looks like a blitz. Let's let's block up that right side of the line and see what we can do here. Ridley does roast it. Can he run away? Turns the corner and he does unhook the plow and he's gonna go. It's not Russell Gage, but what a play for Zach Wilson recognizing the blitz gets Ridley going just drops it right in there in stride and great job by Kelvin Ridley to run away back onto the defensive side of the ball Giants are driving we get to third down empty set oh we get through come on Solomon go can we get a half sack for that one? Grady Jarrett. Ah, Solomon looked like he got off initially, but good makeup for Peart to not let him get past him. But it is a defensive hold nonetheless. 
Let's sim a little bit with the offense. Nice looking drive here by Wilson. He's gonna get us to second and 10 down here. Let's hop in. We got Gage on a bit of a 26 route here. Looks like they're gonna cover that up. Just hit the flat under pressure. We're gonna flip this play with the blitz coming from that side and we want Julio to try and beat this one-on-one -on -one here. Oh, and Russell Gage works back to the football. He gets the linebacker on him. That's the look we wanted. And a great throw from Wilson to kind of throw that underneath and let Gage work back to the football. So the first catch of the day for Russell Gage. Blitz is on. Let it develop. Hit him. Oh, get up field, Gage. Ooh, almost had that touchdown. Great job to drift back there. We're going to stay passing. Go for the hype. Oh, it gets deflected. He had Ridley again coming open over the middle of the field. Looks like it might be a blitz. Let's hot read this. Let's block Edo Smith. Sure enough, it is a blitz. Gage gets the touchdown. There's our slot man. Leonard Williams injured on the play. So the first touchdown of the day for Russell Gage. We need two. Penalty on Dante Fowler. Drive here by the Giants. First and 10. A negative rush. And a sack by Marlon Davidson gets us to third and 16. We're going to get the mug look. Double A gap against Hernandez and Thomas. We get double teamed. And we force a check down and probably a punt here, although it could be four down territory. They're saying punt. And they fake the punt and do not convert. We're going to try and capitalize on that with a drive here. Just take that check down. Stay in, Ito. Another play that looks like it could be a blitz. Giants getting very aggressive out here. And it is a zero. Julio has the double move. Oh, it's not a zero blitz. They had some sort of a spy there when we blocked the running back. Great coverage by that safety to uh, hang in there and protect Julio Jones despite the fact that in theory, he should have gotten the one-on-one -on -one look there. And hit while we throw there. Nowhere to really go. We're going to have to punt. So the Giants driving. Get to third and seven. We still have plenty to play here with Thomas. Oh, he gets through. Get in there. What a hit. And a sack for Solomon Thomas, his 10th of the season. And he is now just one more sack, a TFL, anything away from reaching superstar development, potentially unlocking abilities, becoming a true superhero on the football field. And most importantly, we force the punt. All right, offense taking over. We got uh, third down here, a nice completion of Russell Gage there. That'll be nice to stack up. Let's hop in. Just watch the blitz here, Ito. If they do blitz, we should have Gage. No blitz, but that post is still coming open. Wide open. The Giants show the blitz, and Zach Wilson makes them pay for it. Oh, the corner blitz gets in. Jabril Peppers, actually a safety blitz. Second and 21. We're going to skip the rest of this drive. Good response. Get all the way down into the red zone. We go for it on fourth down. Don't get it. So it's a two-minute drill for the Giants. We get to third and 10. Let's play it. Good anchor by Peart there. Pert, Peart. We tried to go bull rush. And it did not work. Two minute warning. Nine plays remaining. We get the empty look here. If we can get through. Tried to set up the out and in move. 
does not work. They're going hurry up here. Lockdown protection from Matt Pert. Getting a little tired out here. And a timeout. He needed that timeout right there. Tenth play. We're going to try a stunt. Oh, we get through. All right. Down this close, we're going to skip ahead. We'll have four plays left. Pass thrown away. Touchdown completed. Let's get to the second half here. Oh, a couple big plays. Zach Wilson hits Julio Jones, and the clock expires with no timeouts remaining. Okay, so we are now on offense. We are driving. We are really driving. Let's let them do their thing on this drive, although fourth and one. The coach says go for it, and I agree. Let's go. Good job, Wilson, directing traffic, and he trucks over. Looks like Bradbury for a rushing touchdown. Zach Wilson. Matt Ryan could never do that play right there. Extending a play on fourth down and running over a defender for a touchdown. Beautiful play. Third and six. Let's do it. We're coming in from the three tech. Oh, we beat the coverage. Jones gets rid of it immediately. We were getting close there. We do force a punt. We have three plays left on offense that we can play. Second and 12. Third and 12. Let's try and convert it. Oh, Russell Gage moves the chains. What a throw from Zach Wilson, and what a catch from Russell Gage. He is so close. He needs eight more yards, and we have two more plays to get him that. I'm going to skip this down. Completion to Calvin Ridley. Can we get it to him on our favorite little pop pass? We get a great setup. Looks like a good play call by Joe Brady. Let's ID this outside linebacker. Hold the block. Come on, Gage. Get the corner. Oh, he fights. He's so close. We have one play left. He has. He needs like two yards. Can we just throw him this little hitch? It's not the best look. Oh, he completes it. Whew. Nice job throwing the outside shoulder, and Russell Gage gets his 100 yards breakout. And we gotta skip the rest of the offense in this game. We end up with a field goal on that drive. Can we get to a third down? Third and three. Oh man, 42 yard touchdown on the play. Come on, Wilson, we need some, uh, we need some offense here. Nice, good drive, good drive. Still moving it. Field goal drive, we'll take that. Every day of the week. A sack from Solomon Thomas. On the simulation. Unbelievable. I'll be honest, guys. I didn't think we, I didn't think he was going to get it done. And he did. But it's not done. Oh, he's getting in again. Third and 16, 13. Going to drop into coverage this time. So on fourth and three, here is the last play of a breakout day for Solomon Thomas. Wow. Okay, we got to sim to the end of the game. Finish the job, Atlanta. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Whew. Another close win. Most importantly, we get both of the breakouts. A great day from Zach Wilson. The second overall pick looks like a good one so far.
That truck into the end zone on Bradbury was awesome. Solomon Thomas gets his superstar breakout. This is incredible, the momentum we are picking up at the end of this season. And yes, you did, defensive coordinator Solomon Thomas. One heck of a breakout. So he's going to get a superstar development trait. Russell Gage gets his star dev, 10,000 XP. We climbed to 7-7 seven and seven on the season. Let's do these upgrades. Now, the thing is, both of these players, an underlying story here is both of these guys are having breakout season in contract years. A speed boost for Russell Gage. My goodness. He is becoming a legitimate threat here. Um, but yeah, Solomon Thomas and Russell Gage mixing into what are going to be some complicated cap issues. But obviously, two players that we have to do everything we can to clear up the cap space to keep those guys. Now, the ability to move on from Matt Ryan with how Zach Wilson is playing, absolutely going to help there. Dante Fowler, potentially another option there. Uh, we're going to stick with the power theme here. If we are going to replicate Michael Bennett, so he gets under pressure, and then he's got to get all the way up to an 85. Now, obviously the season he's having, this is you know classic Madden poor development. He should be getting up into the 80s. 11 sack season, he's been incredible um, with, with the potential he has. We do have in place with these rebuilds the opportunity to do a player review of sort. We just counter it by making someone else on another team who broke out good as well. Uh, but yeah, in the offseason, we will take care of that. We'll keep him where he is for now. We'll see what his Pro Bowl XP is and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, man, Solomon Thomas has arrived. Finally looking like that top five pick that the Niners spent on him. A couple more upgrades to do here. Now, the breakouts here are, is all good and nice, but we are now seven and seven. And seven teams now make the playoffs. So are we in the, in the picture here? Not really. A lot of good teams in the NFC. We're actually still pretty down at the bottom. But you never know. Crazy things have happened. So we have the Bills and the Jets. Barring more breakouts, we will not get to play. And yeah, no breakouts this week. That's, that's fine. Zach Wilson does win Offensive Player of the Week. We get some more upgrades, or just a upgrade for Zach Wilson, who gets nice hefty boost this week with the week he had. Go with that improviser upgrade. Wow, what an upgrade. He gets a throw power boost. That's unexpected. He's up to 88 throw power now. All right, what can we do against the Bills? Can we keep this momentum rolling? Oh, 24-17. Much more of a rookie performance here for Zach Wilson. Throws his first pick, 127 yards. Bill's defense really gets us this week. As for the receiving game, Russell Gage, Julio. Defensively, Brad Hawkins. Look at the rookie there. We get just a half a sack. Quee Pay gets involved. We do get a pick for Foyasad Aluakun. Coming off of injury there. Some more upgrades, Jared Pinckney. Going to continue to involve him as a blocker. And then Isaiah Oliver has quieted down a little bit after a hot start. Another contract player. Decent upgrade. So simming the final game of the year here, it is the Jets against Trevor Lawrence. And a loss, 17-14 to to wrap up the season. We do improve our draft pick with that loss. Wilson was fine, throws another pick. Probably not all his fault there. How about the rest of the team? The run game just has not been what we want it to be. Julio, definitely a down year for Mr. Jones. No sacks. A pick for Ricardo Allen. And we have made it to the end of the season. And that's going to do it for this episode. Just a recap on the season stats here. So for the next episode, we have... Some really exciting decisions to make. Obviously, the quarterback, that is a no-brainer. Zach Wilson was awesome. Uh, look no further than the quarterback rating. Yards per attempts were better. We got our receivers going a little better. So we are going to make the change in the offseason, probably looking to move on from Matt Ryan. Uh, if not a trade, then we will just release him. Najee Harris never fully recovered from that injury, uh, but we are going to give him a new number 
redemption arc for next season. Russell Gage comes within one yard of a 1,000-yard season. Hayden Hurst with a great season here. He should be back on that 50-year option next year. Definitely proved to be worth that with how he performed. Julio, do we uh, consider moving on from him and his massive contract this offseason? That's going to be a big decision. And then the defense. Solomon Thomas ends the season with 12 sacks. Our player of the year uh, on that side of the ball. He's going to be a pro bowler. We're going to have some player review to do for him in the next episode. And then for the defensive backs, four interceptions for Foy Sadalukun. Is he going to be a defensive player of the year type of candidate? Probably not with the games he missed, but A.J. Terrell, a good year. Could he gain a dev boost? What do we do with Isaiah Oliver? Lots ahead, but we're going to leave it on the cliff right there. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please do hit that like button if you're enjoying the series. We'll try to be back. I don't know, maybe Wednesday with another episode. We'll see where we're at. Uh, but until then, guys, cheers, and we'll see you for the next one. Peace out.